Hey. No. Ah. <laughs> Cooper. <laughs> sit. Cooper, sit. Yeah. Cooper, sit. He wants the. He wants the he little, wants the fluff. little um, microphone, like the fluffy dead cat. Wait, I always go back and forth. Is it dead cat or dead mouse? <laughs> It's, it's definitely not dead mouse. <laughs> <laughs> dead mouse. Is it called a dead cat though? It's dead cat, yeah. And it's not cat hairs. <laughs> no, Cooper. <laughs> he really he thinks it's a ball. <laughs> and they were never seen again. <laughs> Good morning. It's currently Monday, and I am fortunate enough to have the day off. So I am just hanging out, going to be taking you guys to the gym, talking about what's coming next with my training and goals and all that and then also cooper <laughs> we have been puppy sitting the past few days for a friend who went out of town to california and this is cooper he is so cute and it's been so much fun because we actually want to get a golden retriever eventually so it's been a kind of nice trial run to see if we're ready or not which don't think we are, but it's fun to have him around at least for a few days. So, gonna be hanging out with him all day and taking you guys through just a day in the life. This is the scale that we've been using. I just got it off Amazon. Honestly, I really like it. It gives you a lot of different choices when picking like what... <laughs> a book fell over and scared him. <laughs> Um, it gives you a lot of choices in picking like which unit you want to do, which makes it really easy because sometimes when you um, scan the barcode on something and plug it into the MyFitnessPal, it only lets you pick certain units to put it in as. So that's really nice that you can just change it if you need to. So I wanted to sit down and kind of talk about how I'm doing the calories right now. So originally I was planning on waiting about two months and then I was going to start my bulk. But I do want to do a six month bulk and I would be ending that in like March if I decided to start in two months. And that's a bit later than I want to be ending. I'd rather be ending at the end of like January, beginning of February. So I'm going to start the bulk now instead, start increasing my calories. So for the past few weeks, I've been sitting at 2,172 calories. Yesterday was my first time increasing it. I just increased it by 5% since I do feel like my body weight has plateaued, which is usually when you know you wanna start increasing your calories again. So more than likely I'll be increasing my calories by 5% every two to three weeks. But if I feel like my body's plateaued, I also just wanna look out for like if my body's plateauing and if it is, then increase the calories again. I would like to get to around 25 to 2600 probably more towards 2,600 calories by the end of my bulk. And then hopefully my next bulk, I'll be able to get even higher because I do have to start by training my um, metabolism so I can't go too high my first time doing a bulk. So I think that'll be a pretty good number for me to set at. So since I increased everything, I'm gonna show you guys what it's set at now. So I'm set at 2,279 calories. So almost 2,300. My protein is set at 125 grams. My carbohydrates are really what got bumped up. They're at 276 grams now. And then my fat is still sitting at 75. It was 72 before, so 75. So staying pretty similar with that one. It's just mostly the carbohydrates that are gonna go up since I am gonna start needing that extra energy since I will be starting to lift and gain strength, gain muscle. 
So yeah, I'm honestly really excited. I'm both excited and nervous about the whole process. I've never done a bulk before, so this is gonna be my first time going through it, first time experiencing everything. Oh. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of highs and lows to come, especially since it's gonna be over such a long period of time. Like six months is not easy. And to be honest, I have always had a lot leaner of a physique. Like right now I have noticeable abs through most of the day and it's definitely going to be interesting losing that and trying to be comfortable with having that extra body fat on and a little bit extra size, but I'm just going to really try and focus on the fact that I know it's for the long-term results. That's why you do a bulk is because without it, you can't necessarily gain the amount of muscle that you would want to or can't do it in such a short amount of time. And that's really what I want to focus on because I'm happy with my body now, but I do want a lot more definition. I want a lot more muscle and I feel like me just staying at where I am, I've plateaued with how much muscle I'm able to gain. So I think this bulk will really take that to the next level, which I'm so excited for. And then next year when I do my cut, it'll be even better because I'll have a lot more muscle that hopefully I get to hold on to and I'll just look better all around. So that's the end goal, the end results, the long term. I'm just going to try and make it through and just know that this winter, if I am looking a bit fuller, then it's for a good reason and it's for a good goal that I have in my head and it'll be so worth it in the long run. So, but I'll be taking you guys through the entire process. I'm actually probably going to start a series on my YouTube, which is dedicated to like my bulking. I'm thinking it's gonna be like a thick girl winter instead of hot girl summer. So I'm really excited about that and to just bring you guys along and see how it all turns out. I'm gonna make some breakfast for Chris and I. Excuse the bug bite on my belly. It's that time of year where honestly the mosquitoes are awful. I wake up every day with multiple new ones, so that's been fun. And to like we go on night walks and stuff like that when they're at the worst, so probably shouldn't be doing that. But I'm just gonna make us both a whole bagel. These are the Dave's Killer Bread ones. I personally like these ones more than like the Trader Joe's ones. They don't seem as like soggy as the Trader Joe's ones, which is good. I'm gonna do a whole bagel for each of us and then add some avocado, onion, and tomato on top. Eat that, and then I'll probably wait a little bit and then make some eggs too, since this is going to be like a carbs and fat meal, and there's not really much protein in it. And I wanna make sure that I have a balanced meal, so I'll definitely either make some eggs or a protein shake or something like that after this to get that protein in. So here ended up being my breakfast. It's just that bagel, which was 260 calories. And then the avocado, I did 69 grams, which was 110 calories. So I'm gonna work on eating this and then make some type of protein breakfast too. Come to say hi. He's like, mm, that looks good. Not for you. It's like 1.40ish now. I'm gonna head towards my gym. I'm gonna make a few stops along the way. I need to pick up some pots because a lot of my plants are outgrowing their pots, so I need to repot them. And then we're out of candles too. Like the only ones that we have are Christmas ones. And as much as I love the smell of Christmas candles, it's still kind of summertime. So I'm gonna go pick up a few candles for us. And then I'll start making my way towards the gym. And I'm so excited because today is a leg day with a glute and quad emphasis. So that will be a really fun one to film for you guys. I don't think I filmed the leg day in a while. So really excited about that. I just got done in TJ Maxx and I figured I'd show you guys what I got really quick. I got some like random things that we need for the house. Like this is just to go under the dishes when they dry. I did get two candles. This one's sea salt iris. It smells so good. They mostly have like fall candles already, which is funny because I was literally going in to get more like some summer ones, but I ended up getting this one too, which is vanilla brulee. That one smells really good. So I love anything like cranberry and pumpkin-y and stuff. 
and then I can't go into TJ Maxx without looking at their activewear. It's just not possible for me. And so this sports bra that looks really cute and I don't have like any navy blue sets. All the blue sets I have are light blue so figured that would be cute to pair with like I have some white leggings that would be really cute with that and then I was going into this section with the intention of looking for something for Chris so it is a boy's sweater but he can wear it if he wants but I think I got it in a small so I don't even know if it'll fit him but it's just like a gray pullover that says hill figure which is so cute and comfy we are both so excited for it to start getting colder like honestly I'm just a little over the heat. Summer was so nice, but at the same time, it's very humid here and just kind of muggy out. So getting really excited for the cold months and to knowing that I will be gaining some weight coming up. It'll be nice to be able to cover some of that with clothing and feel a bit more comfortable and things like this. And it's so soft. So I wasn't planning on getting anything like that, but can't help it sometimes when you see something cute. So got those few necessities and then I got like a gray pot too for um, some of the plants and then I'm gonna go and just get some more potting mix and like the regular plastic black pots I personally like to keep the pots in like the plastic black ones that they come in when you buy them and then stick that into a pot because a lot of times a lot of times the cute pots that you buy don't have holes in the bottom and it's so important for your pot to have good drainage so usually i'll just keep it in that and then i'll buy like bigger sizes of them too because they're like a buck or whatever at um home depot and then i'll just repot them in another plastic black one and then put that in a cute pot so that's kind of how i do my plants and my potting so i need to go get some more of those and then i completely ran out of the potting mix too because go through that stuff quick so gonna do that and then head to the gym so excited to get to the gym honestly I'm so hyped today like that's one thing that I've been really happy about is I have so much motivation lately and I don't know if it's because I'm starting a new phase where I'm like gonna start bulking and I'm getting excited about that but obviously everyone struggles with motivation and not wanting to go to the gym sometimes like I do too but I will say for the most part like my workout is what I look forward to every single day. It's kind of what gets me through work and gets me through the day. So I would just say like when you're working out and finding a workout style for you, just really find something that you enjoy doing because no one wants to dread going to the gym and then do a workout that they don't like. You want to look forward to it and have fun doing it. So I'm really excited. Hit those legs hard. Try and gain that booty because... Yeah, that's one of the main goals of this bulk is to grow my glutes. So hopefully we can get that going.
I just got done with my workout and it's honestly, it was such a good one. Like I am so sweaty. I'm so exhausted. Even walking on the gym, my legs like buckled on me because they're that tired. So yeah, that's good. I didn't get to film every exercise that I did for you guys just because of the time that I decided to come here. It started to get really busy in the gym and it's a bit harder to film when every like space is taken up by a body. I did the deadlifts to start and then I did squats, lunges, and quad focused squats with like my heels raised. I showed you all of those. The ones that I didn't film was I also did leg press, um, glute kickbacks with like the cable kickbacks, and then also quad extension machines. So I did those three as well didn't film them. Today I mostly stuck to like four set range and then for my reps I would do like eight to ten depending on the exercise for the squats, deadlifts, lunges. I did four sets of eight reps. For the quad focus squats I did four sets of ten. Same with the leg press, the glute kit box, and the quad. Um, extension machine. Those are all four sets of 10. So really good workout, feeling super fatigued. Unfortunately, I am lacking on my calories today. So I need to get home really quick, try and get some good calories in because I am pretty behind for the day. So it's actually a few days later now and I just sat down to edit this video and realized that I never filmed an outro. I guess we got home and I just completely forgot that I was filming that day. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to stay following along, especially now that I'm starting a new phase through my fitness journey, bulking phase. So if you want to see how that's going, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I'll see you guys next time.